right, back up in the tree here for the for an evening hunt. Uh, it's Friday the 13th, so we'll see what happens. See if we can get lucky on the 13th of Friday. So usually it's bad luck. We're hoping for a little good luck today. So uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, it is like 63 degrees, no rain. It didn't really rain at all today. So uh, nice thick cloud cover. So we're hoping this gets the deer up and moving. Uh, usually this is the first consecutive day cool down here probably for about two or three weeks now so hopefully that gets the deer moving through here we're back where I shot my doe last weekend I haven't seen anything all week so could really use a pick me up of seeing some deer and uh, nothing will be better than getting lucky on Friday the 13th so we'll be back with you So it doesn't look like uh, I reversed the curse of Friday the 13th here. So didn't have any luck tonight, didn't see any deer. But just had that one runner come down through the trail here and uh, saw some squirrels and that was it. So with the way the temperatures are, I really think the deer will start moving here pretty soon. But hey, it's all part of hunting. Um, that's the one thing that I think if you watch TV shows and whatnot right now, that are on your outdoor channel and your big time TV shows it makes it look like you go out in the woods you sit one evening and bam you got a deer um, but in reality it's really not like that it, there's a lot of work put into it, a lot of time uh, a lot of time like this past week where I haven't seen anything so we know that they're here we just got to be here when they're here uh, so um, we'll catch up with you tomorrow morning and hopefully we can put some meat on the ground and meat in the freezer uh, tomorrow does start the muzzleloader season for Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania, it goes for one week, so, or a Saturday to a Saturday. So keep your eyes open, and hopefully we see something soon. Well, it looks like uh, being a little wet today. Uh, forgot my rain jacket. It's sitting up in my truck. Well, I didn't forget it. Thought about bringing it, and thought, nah, there's no rain on the radar. So uh, left it in the truck. That's uh, number one mistake there. So, I'm uh, gonna get a little wet today, but I just feel like this is this is like the best weather that we've had for deer hunting now for a couple days. Actually, first couple weeks, tied through pretty much all season. So we'll see. Uh, gonna stick it out here in the woods for a while. <laughs> Just wrapping up the morning hunt here. Uh, did not see anything. Did a couple soft grunts, uh, some doe bleeding and whatnot, just a little bit. Um, just to see if it tracked anything in the area. So, But yeah, didn't see anything. Kind of frustrating. Haven't seen anything now for uh, about a week. Um, so not gonna be able to get out tonight and then tomorrow Sunday and, and uh, I'm gonna take a little bit of time here and figure out what I'm gonna do. Uh, definitely gonna change things up. Not gonna come back here. Uh, give it a rest here and go a couple other places that we haven't been to at all yet. All right, so we're back at it here. Changed up a few things. First, changed up my spot. Second, uh, the weather changed a lot for us here. Now it's down in the low 50s. Tonight it's supposed to get down into the high 30s, so there's a cold front coming in tonight, right now as we speak. So hopefully that gets the deer moving a little bit. And then today I went out and bought a muzzleloader stamp. So I got the muzzleloader out. Um, as you can see, it's just hanging up right here. Uh, Pennsylvania you can bring both out for this week-long muzzleloader season um, I got the inline muzzleloader out and then I got my bow so I can out with the muzzleloader I can only shoot antlerless deer or doe um, and then with my bow I can shoot a buck if, if, if a buck comes close by then I can take that with my bow or if it's a doe I'll, I'll come close by I'll take that with my bow also so felt like a pack mule walking in 
carrying the muzzle loader and my bow and the tree stand and all the camera gear but uh, we're out here in the woods sure hoping that I get to see something tonight break that long drought that we've been having here so uh, hopefully the next time I see you we are getting ready to shoot something Just uh, shot that doe. Looked pretty good. Uh, got it. That should be number two uh, on the season. So had two doe come in actually. Um, saw the first one. That, the one I shot was actually the first one I saw. She came up through here, and then another one come flying up through here and spooked them away. At that point, I got the muzzleloader because they were all out of range, and then they slowly came back. So I put the muzzleloader up shot that with my bow about uh, 22 yards should be a real good shot on it so uh, pretty excited about that um, should be number two I'll look at the video but should be good uh, finally ended the long drought of seeing some deer she shouldn't be too far away she took straight off behind me and that was it so we're on the board again for number two hey how's it going sweetie good I just shot a doe Uh, I'm pretty sure it's down. I, I heard it running around and then it stopped. So I'm not gonna. I'm gonna wait a little bit. No, I shot it with the bow. Yeah, yeah. I, it, it, there's two of them came in, came close, and then uh, and then oh, thank you, buddy. And then something spooked them off. And then, so I put the bow down, got the muzzle loader out, and then they slowly worked their way in. And, uh, and then I got him, so 22 yards. Yeah, I'll give you a call later then. All right. All right, love you too, baby. Bye.